Happy almost Halloween, you guys. I'm Sarah Labrat. Just kidding, I'm a Bob Ross wannabe. And yes, I love painting, but today I'm actually going to be following a Bob Ross tutorial and following it as a writing prompt. And then make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I will be reading out what I wrote while watching this video. I have really not planned much of this video. I have no idea how it's gonna go. It's just an idea that I've had for a long time and I've really wanted to try, so let's see what happens. I have not yet watched this episode of The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross, but I chose episode nine of season 31, which is wild, to use as my writing prompt today or tonight. As you can tell from the lighting, it is very yellow because it's like 10 p.m. So let's do this. And last year for Halloween, I actually dressed up as Bob Ross, hence the wig, the shirt, and the palette. But the day that this video is going up, which is October 29th, that's actually Bob Ross's birthday. And so I thought that today would be the perfect day to try this experiment that I've wanted to try for a long time, but I've never done because I had no idea what was gonna happen. I still don't but we're gonna give it a shot today. And even though I am not painting today, this is going to be the hard surface that my paper is going to be on while writing. And every time that Bob Ross changes colors in this video, which is the Evergreen Valley, I will be switching colors in my colored pens in an attempt to keep up, but we will see what happens. Okay, this thing like already hurts. Here are my pens, hopefully without them falling out. I already dropped them all, which is, you know, a really good start to this. I did take out the black one because I didn't want to give myself that option. So here is my pen palette, we'll call it, and this is going to sit next to me. And we are going to see what color he starts with. I also have no idea what I'm gonna write today. This is going to be completely as he's going. I will be writing as I'm inspired to. Here we go. All right, we are starting with Alizar in Crimson, and I love that name, so I'm going to jot that down, potentially to use as a name. What immediately comes to my mind, because we're using red on like a black and gray background, is either blood or a sunset. <sighs> okay, Bob Ross was like this absolutely wonderful, cheery person, and so maybe I should not go straight to blood. Maybe I should do something a little bit more cheery and happy, rather than like immediately what my gut tells me to write. We'll see, we'll see. His show, The Joy of Painting, he actually did for free. He could film an entire season in about two days. Okay. <laughs> oh, we had to beat the devil out of it. That's what we were doing. I mean, it's white paper, we know that white paper is the devil. So, a blank page, I might say, is the devil. Decide where a mountain lives. We'll cut off a little roll of paper. We have to decide where a mountain lives. Great point. We have also now switched to a darker blue, so I'm going to switch to my darker blue pen. 91% of his paintings from the show, The Joy of Painting, included at least one tree. It's our world, we can do anything that we want here. I love that. Ready to get brave? <laughs> Let's do it. Am I ready to get brave? I don't know what we're gonna do next. No. That little mountain went so well. <laughs> this really is your bravery test. Let's have a big mountain that lives right up here. Oh, he right just went here. for it. Right up here. His signature perm was an economical choice. He did not want to spend money on haircuts, so he saved money by getting his hair permed. And apparently he hated that hairdo. What I've decided to do is basically as he's talking, I'm just jotting down my ideas that I'm getting. I'm writing down any lines that he's saying that I am kind of inspired by and might want to use in this piece that I want to write. So basically just using this video as a writing prompt for basically my notes right now. And then after I'm done watching the video, I think I'll go through and like actually write out something based on this video about the Evergreen Valley. Bob Ross shot 403 episodes of The Joy of Painting and made three near exact copies of each painting per episode. So the first copy would stay off screen and he would use that as a reference as he was painting. And then the third painting he would film was for his how-to books and an assistant would take photos of each brush stroke for the how-to book. That's fascinating. So basically for this show, he would have made over 
over 1200 paintings. Wow. He's so positive. He's so positive. He's so positive. Now let's get our brushes. Bob Ross actually used to be an Air Force Master Sergeant. So basically, he spent 20 years in the United States Air Force and retired with the rank of Master Sergeant. He was pretty much the guy that told everyone what to do, and yet he's known for his incredibly gentle voice and quiet demeanor. With that job, he actually had to yell a lot, and he actually quoted this about that job. I was the guy who makes you scrub the latrine, the guy who makes you make your bed, the guy who screams at you for being late to work. The job requires you to be a mean, tough person, and I was fed up with it. I promised myself that if I ever got away from it, I wasn't going to be that way anymore. This wig though is starting to give me a headache, so I'm gonna go take it off. And we are back with a bright red forehead line. Cute. Anyways, let's get back to watching this. Little devil you've ever seen. And how can you not fall in love with something like it? This is my little squirrel, Peapot. He lives with me. I forgot he had squirrels as pets. Apparently Bob Ross rarely painted people. And there's a quote from someone on this article that says, I will tell you Bob's biggest secret. If you notice, his cabins never had chimneys on them. That's because chimneys represented people and he didn't want any sign of a person in his paintings. Interesting. Even though cabins house people, he didn't want chimneys on them because he didn't want to represent people. From all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless my friend. That's so sweet. Okay, so now I am done watching the Evergreen Valley. I have my page full of notes and now I want to sit down and attempt to write something using this as a writing prompt. So now that I've watched the Bob Ross video all the way through, and before I start trying to write something with this, I wanna read you guys some of my favorite lines that I'm going to try and incorporate into this story or flash fiction or scene or world building setup that I write. Basically whatever I choose to write. <laughs> Don't let a mountain scare you. The color will move. It's not like it's for me to decide where all these little rascals live. You can change your mind and it just makes things a little more interesting. This was one of my favorites and it says, don't be afraid of these mountains. I just love how things that Bob Ross said in the video can be taken out of context and kind of sound almost ominous. Once you make friends with this knife, they're one of the neatest things you can make and you need to make friends with the knife. It's a little foreign to you, it takes a little time to make friends with it, but very quickly, with a little practice, you'll be doing things with a knife you just can't believe. He kept calling things duders. Um, he made a lot of evergreens and called them a lot of little trees. Don't kill all the dark and I like it red, it does nice things. There are a lot of other things on this list, but those are kind of my favorites, and now I'm going to start attempting to turn this into something. <laughs> Okay, so I actually ended up writing two different things using all of these ideas that I got from the Bob Ross video. They're both very short pieces and the first one is almost like a little bit more of like a freeform poem. And it says, the wind seemed to sing, don't let the mountains scare you. Blue mountain shadows hung low, don't be afraid of those mountains. Big mountains, the ridge of trees, wild creatures should be left that way. Wild creatures are to be wild, don't kill all the dark leave it that way. So that was piece one. And these are both rough drafts, but I actually think that piece two is my favorite, which is what I'm about to share with you. The Alzaran Mountains were known for its ability to keep people out. The cabins didn't have chimneys, the dirt paths were not trodden by leather-bound feet, but by rivers run dry. That's why its edge was the perfect place to stay. Fewer people, more wild things, mist hanging low on a ridge of trees. All things one could be grateful for at the edge of the Alzaran Mountains. The mountains fought hard to keep its creatures wild, Wild creatures are to be wild. The mountains grew every which way, and despite being told to not let the mountains scare him, the wind seemed to sing. He looked over his shoulder at the valley between the closest mountains as the sun was setting. Don't kill all the dark. 
leave it that way. He shook his head and turned his back to them once more. He faced his knife he held in his hands. He was told to make friends with the knife. He was told that it may be a little foreign, that it takes a little time to make friends with it. He had made friends with the knife, and he was glad that while the wild things in the mountain grew every which way, the wild creatures didn't come find him. He stayed out of the Ollie's errands, and it kept away from him. Every fiber in his body ached for him to turn around, watch what happened as the sun painted the mountains in the evening light as it descended, but he gritted his teeth. Don't kill the dark, leave it that way. I think those are great. I really like those. Those are both obviously rough drafts. I did not go through and edit these, but I'm very happy with how that turned out. Watching the Bob Ross video was so incredibly relaxing, and doing this exercise was so incredibly calming. Even though it did require writing and drafting something new, it was a short enough project that I really enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys are taking time to just rest and do something that you enjoy. If you need recommendations, I will always recommend going and watching a couple Bob Ross videos, even if you choose not to follow along with painting, just listening to his calm and soothing voice and seeing the process of a painting happen right before your eyes in like less than 30 minutes is always a very calming experience. But all right, that's it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sarah Labrat. I know this video was a little bit out there for me, but if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel by telling the YouTube algorithm that you liked my video and that someone else might too. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments below. And also please let me know what you guys do to unwind. Obviously, I like painting and writing and watching Bob Ross videos, but I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. And if you have not already, make sure you scroll down below, hit that big red subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it because I post videos twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays and do live streams on the weekends. And so I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye! And I was actually Bob Ross for Halloween last year, hence the wig and this shirt and this like... What is this called?